Tesla really pride themselves on creating very innovating power related technology. But there is one Tesla feature that every single time we've tested it, it's been a bit weird and not as good as it could be. And that feature is Tesla Auto Park. So today it has been well over a year since we've last tested it on the channel. We're gonna test it again. And hopefully with all of the software updates there's been, Tesla Auto Park will be far more reliable. I think without further ado, let's just get into it. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drive along this street and hopefully the car will allow us to auto park somewhere. So basically we're just waiting for there it is, a P has popped up. So I'm gonna click it and let's see. Okay, uh, that's that's <laughs> how you do it, isn't it? It's been, it's been 12 months. I'll just click it, don't I? There we go. Okay, Smooth. <laughs> well already that wasn't great. Shift into reverse, not a problem. I'm gonna click start and we're gonna let it do its thing. So I'm not touching anything at all. It wants to put us in a pretty tight space. Oh, Becky, I remember how much anxiety this video gives me. <laughs> oh, we're close oh. to cars. I hate it. I really don't like it at all. Oh. Hopefully it's going to nail it. We are getting close to the car behind, as you can see. We're bumping on the curb as well, so it's going to have to do some manoeuvring. It's gone full lock to adjust. <laughs> I'm stressed. <laughs> Last time we did this video, we got into some really tricky and stressful situations, so hopefully things are much smoother now. Don't get any closer. I think you're close enough. I think you're close enough. So it's probably going to pull forward a little bit now. And go on, stop, 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 stop. That, that'll do, that'll do, that'll do. <laughs> Why are we so close to the car in front? Okay, it's reversing. <laughs> I've not done anything at all this whole time. Auto park complete. <sighs> That's so stressful. Uh, <laughs> I don't like it at all. All right, let's get a quick exterior 360 so you can see exactly where we've ended up. Okay, so actually the space isn't too tight. And even though we look really close right now, there is actually a, a nice amount of space. So to be fair, Auto Park did nail that first one as a parallel park. That was pretty good. Obviously we are in front of someone's drive. So this isn't actually a good place to be parked. I can't imagine Tesla ever being able to tell that. If Tesla gives me the option to park somewhere that I don't think is a good parking spot, then all I need to do is find a different parking spot. Okay, let's see if we can get one more parallel park and then we can move on to the bear parks as well. So I'm just going to slowly drive down here and anywhere that it thinks we could park, a little P will pop up. There it is, there it is. Okay, so I'm going to click it. That is so unresponsive. Look at that, just nothing <laughs> happens. That is so weird. It hasn't frozen, I can do this, but the P Is it holding it maybe? It does not want to do. Nope. Yeah, holding it doesn't work. We'll wait. We're, we're not in the middle of the road or anything, no worries. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I shift into reverse to activate it and then I just have to click start. I think it's doing the same positions as the last one. That looks like quite a nice large space, so hopefully we won't have any issues. We are kind of close to the cars over on our left. <laughs> but I think we're going to be fine. Here we go. Okay, this is an easier one. There's a lady having fun. <laughs> and there is a car coming past our left, but I think we're going to be totally fine. Uh, auto park is complete. Yeah, Yay. that was totally fine. That was fine, that one. Okay, Becky's now outside the car so we can get some nice exterior shots and see how we get on. So I'm just waiting for a P to pop up. As soon as a P pops up, I will be clicking it. So I've clicked it for the first time. Ain't nothing happening. That is so buggy. So that's something that I assume they'll fix in a software update. But right now you can't even see, but I'm just clicking this P button over and over and over again. <laughs> There we go, shift into reverse, and now I'm clicking start, and we let the car do its thing. Here we go. All right, it's off. So these cars are parked slightly on the curb as well, so it'll be interesting to see if that has any kind of impact. I'm assuming it's not going to park us on the curb. No, it isn't. So that's quite fancy, because it isn't lining us up with the cars behind at all. It is just lining us up with the curb, so that's quite clever that it can see that, because it's not like it's even a steep curb either. It's a very, very low curb. Auto park complete, that one it didn't seem to have any issues with. Not bad. 
didn't park us on the curb or anything. So the car managed fine with our parallel parks, but to be fair, the parallel parks weren't particularly tight spaces, so it would be quite embarrassing if the car did struggle with those. So now we're gonna try some bay parks where it reverses in. So we'll just trundle through this car park, and as soon as a P pops up, you bet I'll be clicking it 20 times until something happens. Here we go. No P's as of yet. It is showing all of the arrows very nicely, which is good, but no P's. So last time we tested this, the car would only attempt to auto park between two cars. So that's the first thing we need to try and find. Right, there's a few cars here. There's a potential space there. There's a space there over on our left. So we're just going to slowly glide around and wait for any kind of pee. Not seeing any peas. <laughs> so there's loads of potential parking spots. But the car... There we go, there we go. We've got one. Okay, we're going to click it. Nothing's going to happen. We're going to click it. Still nothing going to happen. This is excellent. We can see those people though, which is always nice. The arrows are going mental because it's uh, it doesn't quite know what that is. Come on! <laughs> Why is this part so rubbish? Look at that! How much was this car? What's going on? Oh my god. Yeah, you try, Vicky. I'm sure you'll be able to do it. There we go. Right, shift into reverse. So it's quite a tight little spot. I'm going to shift into reverse. So it's going straight for the turn. Oh my god. I'm ready with my brake just because this bit does really scare us. It's going to have to adjust. If it doesn't adjust, we'll just drive into this Skoda Fabia. Please adjust. There we go. Fantastic. Oh my God. <laughs> That's a scary noise. I think it should be fine. So you can see it, it is a reasonably tight space. Oh, here we go. This is it. This is the moneymaker. So we're gliding in. We're very close to this car over here. Oh, but we're making it. And, oh, it's turning for some reason. Don't turn. Okay, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> okay, so we have successfully parked. However, we are not centered between the two cars at all. The distance between this car is way, way bigger than the distance between that car, and it would make it very difficult for Becky to actually get out. And also, you could see we are a tiny little bit wonky as well there. So this isn't perfect because, yes, I've got plenty of room there. But Becky really had to squeeze out to get past that car. However, when we look at the side cameras, we are more or less in the middle of the lines. But I don't think Auto Park is based on the lines because I don't think it can see those. I think how it works is it tries to park evenly between two cars as opposed to trying to park in the middle of the car parking spot, which means that if one car's parked badly, you are also going to end up parked badly, which I think is perhaps what's happened here. But either way, let's just drive around again and do another bear park. Oh, Becky, look at those perfectly displayed corns. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, that's the dream, folks. That is the dream. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay, I'm going to click P. Look, I removed my camera, which is interesting, but it won't actually press the button. Oh, here we go. Okay. I'll shift into reverse and I'll click start and let's see what happens. Ooh, it's not going for the, the space that I thought it was. Oh my God, this is exciting. It might try and park us on top of this thing. So there isn't a car over here, but it's still attempting to park us here. So I think we're just going to hit this curb and it's going to freak out and abort. Here we go. About to make impact with the curb. Wait, where's the curb? Ooh. There we go, we've hit the curb. So now what's it doing? <laughs> it's it's pushing us back and forwards. I don't know if you can tell. Oh, it's a boat. <laughs> That's more like the Tesla Auto Park that I know so well. It did not let me down, it freaked out. That was weird, that. I don't know why it thought that that would be a place to try and park because there was only one car there and there was a suitable spot on the other side of that car. So that was strange. Either way, we're gonna spin around again and let's give it another chance. So parallel parking in large spaces, it hasn't had an issue with. Bear parking, still room for improvement. We're on the prowl for some peas. We've got a pea, we've got a pea, we've got a live one. Okay, so now we just sit here for five minutes while nothing happens. <laughs> this is a nightmare. I know, this is mad. There we go, that was quite a quick one today. And let's click start. <laughs> so I don't know where it's uh, sending us off, but I'm hyped for it. I think we're going between these two white cars. Yes, we are. Okay, no issues as of yet. No cars around, so this is great. Oh, so it needs to adjust because we're going to go into that car. Likes to get as close as possible before it does that to freak me out. Okay, so he's got loads of space here to sort himself out. So I'm expecting a nice spot here. Nice. This looks promising. There's not even a car behind as well. Oh, yeah, turn. Interesting. So what do you think? Are we going to end up nice and evenly between these two cars this time? It looks like, hopefully, we are. Yeah, I think this is going to be a... Oh, it's turning us now, which is weird. 
because it didn't really need to, but we are nicely between these two cars. That's mm. a nice distance. However, you might have seen we did look crooked, so I suppose we should have a look and see what we look like from the outside. This is the issue with an electric car that's completely silent. These pedestrians just slowly walk in front of you all of the time. Okay, <laughs> here we go. We're gonna try and find another available parking space. And this time, Becky's gonna stand outside so you can watch the whole show. It's very exciting. This is a suitable area, but we just need the P. We're reliant on the P's. If we don't get any P's, we can't proceed. So maybe we'll try this spot. I don't know if maybe it tries to find things on the left because we drive on the left, but um, I, I can't confirm that. Look at that, completely peeless. Those loads of just perfectly good spots there. So yeah, it is strange that there are so many available spaces here. Like there's one and there's another one, but for whatever reason, there's another one, but just the P doesn't pop up. So we can't engage auto park without it. So there's a good spot there. So I'm gonna get a little bit closer to it as well. And hopefully we can have a, a P pop up. There it Yay. is. Yes. Should okay. I jump out? Yeah. Wish me luck, Becky. Good luck, Jack. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna click the P. Of course, nothing's gonna happen. So I'm just gonna stay in the middle of the road while cars come. <laughs> I'm frantically clicking that P. Come on, give me a P. What, what is wrong with you? There we go, there we go. Shift into reverse, click start, and we are now away. This is it. So it is going for the spot that we want this time rather than onto the curb. Oh, we are getting close to that red car, but we have done that every single time. That just seems like a, a standard practice. Oh God, it gets dangerously close. I hate how close it gets. It probably doesn't look that close from outside, but from in here, it looks so, so close. Now it's this portion where it lines itself up a little bit more. It has plenty of room in front, so it should be able to do this quite well. The gray car is quite close to the line, so we might end up being parked on the line because of that. Okay, it's actually managing not too badly here. I think I think we're gonna nail this one. Actually, you know what, I take it back. It seems that we've had the same issue as before where the passenger is just way, way closer to the car next to it and then I've got loads of space on this side. It needs an equal distance because quite often people are driving with passengers. They need room to get out the car and also the cars next year need enough room for them to get back into their car as well. Here we go, we're gonna do one last auto park test. So we're just searching for a P to pop up. It looks a bit busy down here. So this could have some potential areas. There's a man with large planks of wood. We've got a P and I'm a bit scared about it to be honest. So now I just have to click over and over and over again. Click start and we are off. Okay, it's shoving us next to the van, fair enough. I think there is a person in the van as well, so I'm sure they'll get freaked out when we get nice and close to them. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my God, is it wanting to just do one move? I think it is wanting to do just one move. It's just slunk straight in there. It hasn't adjusted like it normally does. So, so we are quite close to this van. And then we've got plenty of space on here, like once again. Okay, after seeing it from the outside, there was slightly more room than I thought, but still a very tight space. But I mean, that's what you want auto park for. You need auto park to do those tight spaces that you yourself would potentially struggle with. So overall, I think auto park's slightly better than it was a year ago, but I don't think there's been that many improvements. We're definitely seeing patterns of the same issues with us always being too close to the car on the left and having way too much room on the right. And we ended up wonky quite a few times as well. And then also the fact that it just doesn't give you the option to auto park when there's loads of spaces available to auto park. And for some reason, you've got to click the button 20 times for it to actually do anything, which desperately needs fixing. Because imagine if there's a car waiting behind and you're just here spamming the button. That is a nightmare. Anyway, thank you for watching. Click that like button, click that subscribe button. We upload every single Saturday. I'll see you all later.